Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, this is uh, the Witness Without Identity channel, as you know it. Um, so today we uh, we were we're going to talk about um, Glenn Maxwell again. Uh, the story is developing; it's getting crazier and crazier by the day, and it's just so it's a very interesting story, guys. There's no doubt about it. Um, so basically, the the judge decided to unseal the documents. And in the documents, uh, many names were revealed, and and what we find out on top of the name that are revealed, we found that there's a couple of people that were prominent that we knew already, but it looked like uh, and there's a lot more people that are not revealed yet, that are very prominent people. So there's more to come in this case, the Kellen Maxwell case, because we live in a world where we know what we we are watching the people on the bottom and we put them to jail for anything they do and there's many people on the top that do like a lot of crazy things and they don't go to jail for example let's look at the protests and the riots right we always point at them oh they are burning the city they are anarchists and it's true they i mean they they are arsonists and then some of them are burning the cities and it's not good in the protests and they're committing riots and looting but there are looting happening on the top. Remember the 2008 financial crisis? There was looting on the top. People got bailed out. But now we, we have sex trafficking on the top, right? Uh, big time sex trafficking. That's different than a pimp on the street, on a side corner street. But uh, I, mean, I mean, it's not different than a pimp from a side corner street. They both are, are using, you know, women and uh, for sex as objects. So here, uh, Glenn Maxwell and Bill Clinton, we finding out on those documents are total liars. They are liars, uh, and there's uh, Alan Dershowitz is is in it too, and, and we don't know if he's lying yet, but he he, he denies the allegation, but he's part of it too. So the story story is unraveling fast, and we have to make sure that everything is okay, guys. Like I hope everything works out, but like this is the way I look at it, guys. Um, this is the way I look at it. Like, okay, so so this is this is the lie that Glenn Maxwell said. Like, this is the, the, the lie. Let's, let's talk about the Glenn Maxwell's lie. Her lie is that she said that she she never met Jeffrey Epstein for for ten years, and then when they opened the documents, they saw that she had a phone like an email. She was she she, she said that she never had contact with Jeffrey Epstein for for ten years. Now we find out that there was contact between her and Jeffrey Epstein in two thousand. Um, but it's 2015, five years ago. Wow. So she lied about that. You know what I'm saying? So she's a total liar. She, and she's a, she lied. Why are you lying? Because you, a lot of time, because you're guilty. And uh, now we find out that uh, uh, Glenn Maxwell is lying. Now Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton lies also. He said that, oh, I was never in, the, in an island. I think Jeffrey has an island somewhere. I forgot where. It's like a. It's, it's an island that he has like for, for sexual escapades, you know, he, he goes crazy there. And we found out that uh, he, uh, we could have said, no, you never been to the island, never. And there are many staff members that work for Jeffrey Epstein that say that, yes, in the document that, yes, we saw Bill Clinton in the island with two girls, with Jeffrey Epstein. So Bill Clinton is lying. So this is where we are. Now, we got Bill Clinton lying. Luckily, well, let's say that. Uncle Joe Biden is not in it. That would have been destructive if the next person was Joe Biden. That would have been destructive for this election because Bill Clinton, we don't really care right now. Hillary Clinton, we don't really care. But when you look at the election, if you want Biden to win, we don't want Biden to get involved. And that's my fear, guys. My fear is Biden. Um, but I don't think Biden is that kind of guy. I think Biden is more like a guy that's like to touch women. I don't think he's like a player. I don't know if you guys agree with me. I don't think Biden is a player like Bill Clinton, like a guy that's gonna get like a blowjob in our over office. It's not that guy or like Trump. I think Biden is just a guy that like to touch everybody, touch everybody. He's very like touchy. I think he's sexual too. I think he's a guy that has like a sexual drive, but not in that way. I think he respects his wife in a way. That's the way I look at him. Um, so this is where we are guys. We have to be careful. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, the good news we can say is this. I hate to say this. This is going to sound weird. It's kind of a good news. Biden said that he's going to pick like a, a woman as a vice president. 
So which means hopefully, I mean, it could be good news that that woman would, would not be involved in the Jeffrey S. Epstein wing. I bet you never know because look at Gillian Maxwell. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Biden picks a vice president and the, uh, the vice president is involved with Gillian Maxwell. And the name comes out. That would be terrible. But I, I, I'm thinking too much. But I, 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 I think everything is going to be okay with Biden and the tech. But uh, the Jeffrey Epstein thing is a crazy thing that, uh, that it's a crazy story that I'm hoping that everybody's watching because there's so much nefarious uh, activity in it. Like it's so nefarious, and it's and and the, the amount of sex trafficking that was happening, it was happening in in, in in many different areas. It was so ubiquitous that you know it's like it was happening everywhere. Like you know, like uh, in 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 this house, the other house in London, in last in London. So it was like uh, well known what Jeffrey Epstein was doing. So I'm hoping everything is going to be fine. That no, that this was not destroy the Democratic chance to win the election. It's weird that I'm saying that, but like I do not like how the fact that all the elites are connected. They all know each other. It, it's almost like Biden maybe know Jeffrey Epstein, but it looks like he doesn't. They, that's the good news I like about Biden. He did not have any relation with Jeffrey Epstein. Nothing. So that's the good news. I like that. So, um, so where are we now? So, this is the conclusion. Uh, Glenn Maxwell and Bill Clinton are basically lying. And who knows what these things are going to end? Uh, let's hope for the best, guys. Thank you.